Farmer George's Farming Simulators UK. Okay, I just was trying to show people, I've had a few questions, show people how to use um, the uh, transfer um, the crossing point in Cosplay. I'm using Cosplay 3.41 in Family Simulator 2013 let's see if we can find that right so assume this field which is field 8 in the default map is the whole of the map okay and you're making courses the the cross of the cross crossing point um, feature is to actually um, change over to another course um, but it usually only works with courses that are going in one direction um, one thing I would say when you're making a course in general if it's a drive to course from A to B you need to have a wait point at the end of it which has got zero time so you don't, if you have five seconds, it'll wait five seconds and it'll set back off. So if you've got um, a course that starts here, let's go start course recording, and you drive all the way through the village, and you know you're going left and right and up and down hills and other fields and what have you, and you end up here, and you just send stop recording without a wait point what will happen is when you come to drive that course without a wait point the vehicle will drive to the end of the course and it will make a beeline directly from that from the finish point back to the um, start point so obviously if you've gone round campsites and round buildings and round the town you, your vehicle will just crash and this is one of the reasons why people can't seem to use this um, the way to make the vehicle stop here is to set a wait point now look what it's doing it's going to create a diagonal all the way back incidentally that little arrow that I've got out the front is just showing you which place it's going to next it's part of the um, show debug level okay so I'll leave that on and it'll give you an idea of where the where the vehicle is going so if that was villages towns and houses it'd be crashed into it it wouldn't be going anywhere so let's um, stop the driver and destroy that course if you had then a similar course that's going from A to B round the houses and you know over hill and meadow and round lakes and what have you if you then set a wait point and then drive forward a few feet and then stop um, make sure you also set that your wait point time is zero not five seconds what it'll do is it will drive to that course point it's only doing that because I didn't give it a chance to start at the beginning of the course because it's going to go around in a loop till it gets a big enough there you are. and you'll see that it'll uh, it'll follow the line that we've just recorded over hill mountain dale down through the village round the houses and then stop at your destination and it'll wait there forever and a day okay now it, this is another feature that seems to be, I don't know whether it's Fraps, because I'm recording with Fraps, is doing this but um, it's it's stopping a little bit before where I wanted it to stop but it doesn't matter, it stopped, so that's the main thing and um, it would wait there forever and a day unless you'd set, you want to go continue then it'll still do the same journey now one of the other ways to um, make it move on its own is of course to set the, the wait time to just one five seconds and it'll wait for five seconds four three two one and then it'll move off 
and it'll still do that same diagonal thing. So one of the, one of the ways that you do this, if um, you're going to create a overhill and dale, and you want to go there and back, the best easiest course to make is you start your recording at um, destination. Uh, sorry, look uh, your your um, start point location A. You drive over hill and dale and round the village and down the roads, following all the the correct manners. Uh, the the ex mannerism of the road, the um, what's the word, the directions of the road. When you get to your destination, you set a wait point, but then you can turn yourself directly around. Honestly, let's have a look. Um, the cross point, setting the crossing. Um, just a little word about naming your maps, uh, your number in your maps. Imagine this field eight is the whole of the um, the game world, the whole of your map. I believe, and I like to number my maps with. If there's a field to the north of me directly, I would call that field twelve, and then I take out the positions of um, around the clock, one o'clock. So any fields in that direction be one, um, one o one, one o two, one o three, one o four. If there's lots of them. Other than that, you can just number them consecutively, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way around. But the number 10 field might be down at the bottom 5 o'clock position. So I like to name them 105, 106, 107. So a position 3 would be 301 or 300 directly to the east. So looking at this field 8 in the um, PDA here, as if it were you know a compass thing we're going to give this whole map of ours this little little world of ours in field eight um some fields and we're going to say 12 o'clock is field 12 and six o'clock will be field six so um i've already done this in a bigger scale on the on that bigger field down there for you to, to have a look at because i don't want to bore you with doing all of these different courses but let me just show you one course we we'll start course recording. We're in field 12 and we're driving to field 6. Now you could be over hill and valley and dale. When you get to the centre point, which would be the centre of your map, which might be a farm, it could be a city or a town centre, you can actually set, not a waiting point, sorry, we'll set a crossing point. Okay? Um, that waiting point won't mess us up because I'm going to set it to 5 seconds just there, that one. Let me do that again for you, just so that I don't confuse anybody. Stop recording. Reset the course. So you, you only, I would set a wait point, even in the middle, but I'm saying to just for this demonstration, I'm not going to set wait points. I would also set a wait point at the end of the course to make it stop. Otherwise, it'll just head straight back to the beginning, of course, even if it's a straight line course. You need to practice with this yourself, so you'll get it. From field 12, I'm looking at my mini map to see when I, when I actually heat, hit the eight number 8 in the centre of the, the map. I'm going to set a crossing point. This could be in a car park or in your farmyard. Then I will drive on over hill and valley and dale around the corners and end up in a field called number 6. And I'll say stop recording. I would actually set, as I said earlier, set a pause uh, sorry um, a waiting point that makes the vehicle stop when the waiting point time is set to zero if it's set to five it'll only wait five seconds and it clear off back to its um, the beginning of the course so if you're using this method of setting a wait point your wait time must be zero to make it hold there forever and make it stop so but we're not going to set the wait points I'm just going to set stop okay and then I will call this um, course, we'll call it a travel to course. So it's going to be TRV. No, I, I can't actually do that because I've got some travel to courses in this map. Um, let me call it um, trial because I've got some test ones over there for you. TRIAL. This is. Um, we're going to go field 12 because it was up at the 12 o'clock position 
two, and I use the number two rather than writing the num writing two. Field six. So that is a, a simple destination, and we'll save that in there. And if I look on my thing, you'll see that it's at the bottom. Trial F12 to F6. Ignore these are the ones up here because I've put some others in for you to show you later on. Now then, say I have another destination and um, lo uh, start destination and finish destination that could cross the farmyard in the centre. So this would be, in the great scheme of things, if this was a, a clock face map, this would be from the 9 o'clock position. So I'm going to call this location um, field 9. I'm going to reset the course because I'm making a brand new course. Set start recording. You would drive across your map over Hill Valley and Dale and through either your central farmyard or the town centre or whatever or a car park or a field that you might be using or any edge of a field or even a part of a road. Set a crossing point near the other crossing point and then drive on to your other field and then obviously you would set your waiting point to make it stop with a time value of zero but we're not doing that we're just going to say stop recording okay now then I will save that one as trial it was the field 9 to field 3 Re re reference in field 9 o'clock position, field 3 o'clock position. So when you get to your central crossing point, set a crossing point and then drive on to your destination. And all you're basically saying is I might want to go from this destination here which I've absolutely named um, field 9, set stop, um, from field 3 just in the clock face as you understand so let me just name that while I'm thinking about it so this was trial field 3 to field 9 and we'll save that I can then go from any of those destinations uh, well from this destination if I've got it on as a as a starting point I can go from field from um, field 9 to either field 3 field 6 obviously not field 9 because it would just well it would it would still do it it would drive to the center turn around and come back you know um, you want me to prove it I know there'll be somebody saying why well, it wouldn't do it for me if I'm at field 9 and I want to come back to field 9 just drive to the city centre and back this is why I would I did suggest putting a stop point a wait point in the middle but when you do that if you want to go from field 9 to field 12 you will have to catch up with the tractor at your central farm yard or whatever crossing point wherever the crossing point is and then click to, con uh, con click to continue or set the 5 second thing so what it'll do is it'll try and turn round in the centre because it's going from field 9 to field 9 so that might be handy to come to the farmyard and pick up some stuff yeah especially if you had the weight points set in place then you'd be okay with that um, the next thing we can do is I'll just show you some some weight points on there I'm gonna to have to go and get the door so that's messed this video up uh, but I'll be back in a little bit You've just been watching Farmer George's Farming Simulators from farmingsimulators.co.uk Please remember to subscribe, like and share this video and visit farmingsimulators.co.uk